Hey, day one of my new Tesla coil. I've got most of the stuff here, so I'm going to begin uh, this project here. I got a and I ordered some uh, pulse capacitors, 2,000 volt pulse capacitors uh, from Digi. These are the white ones here, and uh, they're I think uh, point uh, point one five microfarads. Now here's what I plan on uh, using for my torrid. It's four elbow pieces of uh, aluminum duct. You can just push them in together here. I'll take them apart. You can see they just go in together here. I'm hoping this will work. It's pretty light. It's made out of aluminum. So I hope that uh, these sharp edges and stuff don't cause any problem with Corona. But I can always wrap it with tape and uh, we'll give that a shot. I think this will work good. Now here's what I plan on uh, using for my torrid. It's four elbow pieces of uh, aluminum duct. And you can just push them up in together here. I'll take them apart. You can see they just go in together here. I'm hoping this will work. It's pretty light. It's made out of aluminum. So I hope that uh, first started by getting the center point of the ear and I've outlined a circle here. So what I want to do probably is put uh, drill some holes and put these attachments on each end and then I'll have a five inch piece of pipe that goes across all of them like so and then I will wind the primary equal spaced apart with these uh, furniture little tabs to hold them in place and my capacitors are I ordered them from Digi, they're 0.15 microfarads, so I think it's 150 uh, nanofarads, 2000 volt capacitors, pulse capacitors. They're kind of expensive, but uh, I've got 28 of them, so I figure I'll put them in um, strings of 9, uh, 3 deep. So that's 27 capacitors and one extra. And I think that'll give me somewhere around uh, 0 0.05 uh, microfarads. So hopefully that'll work. I can just adjust my uh, spark gap. I drill some holes through the wood and I put the four support meat um, base for the primary. Drilling holes through the pipe here, like on the sample piece you see here, and putting these little slugs in here, these little furniture slugs. And that'll help uh, hold the, uh, you know, hold the uh, primary in place there. And I should be able to get about nine or ten on here. I hope, I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Okay, time to drill some holes here. So we're going to put these little slugs in here, just like that, snap them right in there. So now, since this isn't permanently attached, I can put more pipes in here and I can lift it up and down to make it adjustable on the primary. I shouldn't have to move it too much, I don't think, but uh, it'll have that uh, in the design. Okay, there we have it, about eight, uh, eight windings of the primary. Um, the, the primary is a little bent here and there, and I could probably, uh, you know, squeeze out the gaps and make them all nice and even. Um, I can hook one in here, and then, of course, the other end is here. And I drilled a little hole through the wood here. There it is, the base is uh, built. I put the four legs on there. The bottom here, I have some rubber wash, rubber uh, stoppers here. I don't know if they're necessary or not, but to get, keep some isolation from the ground. Probably the next thing I'm going to do is stain it, and then I'm gonna put on a lot, a lot of polyurethane. And I might even cover up all these screws with um, some hot glue maybe or something, or silicone. Okay, this is gonna be my first test of this neon sign transformer. It's a uh, 6,000 volt at uh, 30 milliamps. Let me kind of spark. That's the maximum arc I can get off that. So this is what we got to work with. Uh, I don't know if this, this trans 
Neon Sign Transformer is going to be strong enough, but I'm hoping it will be. There's any arcs, yeah, arcs off, the, off the case, too. And I decided to make it uh, the MMC. I'm going to start with uh, 0.03 uh, microfarads. So that's uh, 9 in series, and then um, 2 in parallel. I'm going to drill holes in all these spots here, press the leads in, and then... We're going to give that a shot, and then I got, uh, I don't know if I'm going to use 1 meg or 10 meg bleeder resistors. I'm going to do a little more research on that, but then I'm going to have to put them in parallel. Here we have the capacitor bank, the MMC. I have, um, it's an 18,000 volt um, capacitor at about 33 nanofarads. Uh, it's got 10 meg, 10 mega ohm um, resistors uh, across each capacitor, and I put a bunch of silicone covering the uh, solder joints. This, Hopefully to get it, give a better uh, dielectric properties and no sparking or anything. And I got some 40 kilovolt high voltage wire on it. So let me test it out. But it should be around 30, over 30 nanofarads, 33 I calculated. 33.73. I think Tesla would like that number. He likes threes. So to uh, print another end for this uh, jig I just made on my 3D printer. I set by pressing it in here and every time this comes up counts so I want to print another one of these out here that has a little tab on it that'll press up and then I can just position uh, this just as right and this uh, this should be able to uh, count how many turns I can just spin this thing around so I gotta wait for that to print before I can do anything else on this now I am ready to begin winding the coil. I have my jig all set up here. On this up one end here I put a counter which I reset to zero here and the way this is going to work is two, three, four. You want to put tape on here every inch or so just to hold it down in case you need to take a break. Now, this is only the second coil I've ever wound, so I'm not an expert at it, but, uh, but once you get a good rhythm going here... Right there is a good position my thumb. Oops. Watch the line very carefully, try not to blink. And I could go a little bit faster in this, but... You don't want to go too much faster in this. I'm getting a little crazy here. Let's try it. Let's see how fast I can go with this thing. I feel like uh That's about top speed. I don't want to go any faster than this. I can't even blink here. Well, I think I'm going to stop at 1578. Hopefully, uh, that's going to be enough. It might be too much, but I can unwind some if I need to. So there you have it. Took about an hour to do, and uh, we're done. Now I'm just going to put some polyurethane on it, and, uh, and then we'll go to the next step. A little polyurethane. Keep it spinning so it doesn't uh, blob up or anything. Everything's adjustable here. I'm going to drill a hole in a center somewhere so I can blow air through or suck air out. from, uh, So I can just feed air through the sides here. I was going to try that design. I got the high voltage wire on the sides, which is, um, I purchased it at Tractor Supply. Real cheap. It's um, 25 feet for $16.99 or something like that. I think it can handle 20 kilovolts. So there's that. And then on my old Neon...
Right now I have nothing uh, forcing air in there. So I want to try to see what happens if I can force air in there better. So much better at nighttime, you know. You can see the corona, you can see the purple light. It looks good.